Okay, so we have this problem statement. Create a program to calculate the pay amount for an employee given the number of hours work for the employee and their hourly wage. Uh, so we did a previous video where we had the uh, flowchart for this. So if you want to see that, uh, go on to that video. Uh, we are uh, going to create that and we previously uh, also looked at uh, kind of an IPO chart structure. So we defined our inputs, our process, and our output uh, for the program which is uh, probably good starting out especially so we actually are giving um, whatever the problem statement asks us for, right? We're giving the right output. If we don't get that right, uh, we're not going to get the problem right. So let's create uh, a new file here and we'll just call that, uh, let's call it weekly pay uh, and of course .py, Python. And so we will look at um, our inputs first. So hours worked and hourly wage. Uh, so, so we'll say hours worked equals okay and then we'll prompt for input from the user so uh, input and we'll say enter the number of hours worked okay and of course that's going to be a string uh, so we need to convert that uh, if we want to use this later in a calculation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, make that an integer. Okay. And then the next one, of course, was hourly wage. So we'll input that. And this time, of course, it'll be a, a floating point because we, we could earn... Uh, some pennies there, uh, not just a dollar, so we'll do that. And then input. So input the hourly wage. And so now we're, we're ready to do the calculation part, the total pay. So we'll go down the line and say total pay is equal to I'm going to do tab completion hourly wage times hours worked or vice versa and then we'll go ahead and do our output so we'll do a print and we'll put in the pay this week is and then I'll just put a comma and we'll do total pay um, so let's um, test that out okay so let's run that and right down here we'll enter the number of hours worked so let's just say that's 40 and then the hourly wage uh, I think I saw a sign today advertising so for $13.60 an hour. So we'll put that in. How much would that be a week? Uh, so uh, $544 um, and no cents. Uh, so we, we've got a couple of things we can revise here on our total pay. Uh, if we wanted to, uh, we can actually. Um, round that off to two decimal places so we can use the built-in round function so let's do round uh, total pay and we'll round it off to two decimal places so while round does ensure that we we have only two decimal places uh, if we got a number like that with the point zero it's not going to show uh, that extra zero so what we can do here uh, we have another uh, function in Python called format so we can format and give that a so our, our format here is just going to be uh, point 2 F so for floating point um, so let's run that and we'll go 
ahead and put in 40 hours and again we'll put in 15 dollars uh, an hour and we get 600 this time forced out to uh, two decimal places so we'll make one more uh, modification here since we're now formatting this as a string if we really wanted to add the dollar sign uh, we can we can take away the, the comma here because that's going to force a space in between there and we'll put uh, the dollar sign right here uh, we'll try that one more time this time uh, let's put in hours work 40 somewhere on Bureau of Labor Statistics it said programmers made 47.02 dollars per hour median pay and we'll hit enter and that comes out to uh, 1880 and 80 cents a week uh, so that's kind of the, the quick Python version uh, of the weekly pay uh, the simple version of the weekly pay program